everybody, it's Kira and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a haul for you guys. These are the books that I've gotten pretty much since the beginning of the year. Um, I think I did a haul with maybe my January books, for sure my Christmas ones. So this is kind of the books that I've gotten in the past few months. So let's get right into it. So the first one I have is Northanger Abbey, Lady Susan, the Watsons, and Sanditon by Jane Austen. I got this for my Jane Austen class um, this spring, but it was one of the ones that I really enjoyed. Well, I only read Northanger Abbey out of here, but I really, really enjoyed it, so I wanted to keep this book. So I do have this one now. Then for my birthday in April, I got Eliza and Her Monsters by Francesca Zappia. I love this book. I read it like a few years ago, so it's been a little bit since I've read it. But I remember really, really enjoying it. It's about a girl, um, Eliza, who creates this webcomic, and then a new kid moves to her school, and she finds out that he writes the most popular fan fiction of her webcomic, but she's anonymous on her webcomic, so she knows who he is, but he doesn't know who she is, and they kind of fall in love, and she has anxiety, and I remember that representation was really good, so I'm very excited to own a copy of it, and also there's a lot of, like, her actual, like, artwork in here, um, which I thought was, like, really cool, and I'm just really excited to, like, own a copy of this book. Also for my birthday, I got Nixia Uprising by Scott Rankin. I don't have the book with me because my dad is actually reading it right now. This is the third book in the Nixia um, trilogy and is really, really good. So the first two books are like full of twists and turns and this one is no different. Again, it's been a while since I've read it, but I own the other two books in the series so I was really excited to finally have all three of them. Then I have On the Come Up by Angie Thomas. Um, I still have not read this book yet and I need to read this book. Um, we went on vacation, me and my family went on vacation in April? No, nope. end of March. It was end of March. <laughs> we went on vacation to Florida as like one last big family vacation before um, I moved here to Green Bay and kind of our family started splitting because like us kids are getting older, whatnot. Anyways, my mom texted me out of the blue and was like, hey, I'm gonna go to the bookstore. What book do you want? And I was like, I don't know off the top of my head. You can just ask me what book I want. So I picked on the come up because I really need to read this book and I loved um, The Hate You Give and I still haven't read Concrete Rose either which I need to read but I'm very excited to get to this book. Next up we have two amazing books and that is Aurora Rising and nope yes Aurora Rising and Aurora Burning by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. These books are so good. These audiobooks are also fantastic. They have different actors for each of the parts and they're really really good. I read these last summer and fell in love with them, but I didn't own the copy of the book. So I'm very excited for the third one. I don't know what the third one is called, or I don't know if we even have a title for the third one, but I need it now, because the second one ends on a huge cliffhanger, and I was like, you can't do this to me, but then we had to wait like a year, so I'm very excited for the third book, but yeah, I will definitely be rereading these in the future. Then we have The Anthropocene Reviewed by John Green. This is John Green's first book of nonfiction, which is very interesting. Um, if you, I keep up with the Green Brothers very easily, and so, um, John has a podcast called The Anthropocene Reviewed, which is how he kind of started writing this book. It's a book of reviews of different parts of the human-centered planet, as he calls it. Um, he reviews things on a five-star scale, but it's also, his reviews are, like, a bit factual, but they're also a bit about, like, his own life and his history as well as like the history of the thing that he is um, reviewing. I'm very, very excited to read this. Um, I love his writing a lot, and I really enjoyed the podcast part of the Anthrop Anthropocene Reviewed as well. Um, all, of the pre uh, all of the copies are signed, so I do have a signed copy. Um, and it's really cool, on the inside flap there's all these circles, which he has a video about on Vlogbrothers, which I will link in the description below, but um, where he kind of talks about drawing these circles. So I really like that they added that in in the um, end pages here. And it's really cool too because there are like mini reviews too. So there's a title page here and then there's like a mini review for title pages, which I just think is really funny. So. I'm very, very excited to dive into this one, and it's going to be a, a different kind of book, but I'm really excited about it. And then last up, we have three books that I got from Hope Gospel, which is a local 
I keep wanting to call them charity shops because that's what they're called in England, but I can't think of what they're called in America. For some reason, charity shop is always what comes to my head, but the, it's a secondhand store, basically. It's a local secondhand store in my hometown, and I have three books from there. So first up, I have Ash and Bramble by Sarah Pernius. Um, this is a Beauty and the Beast retelling, I guess, or it's some sort of, like, combination of fairy tale retelling kind of things. I don't know, it looks interesting and the cover is kind of cool, so I thought, why not? And then we have Catching Fire by Suzanne Collins. I do have a copy of this book, but I wanted, this is like beautiful hardcover in amazing condition and I don't have this cover, so I was like, I kind of have to get it. And lastly, we have one that I'm very excited about, and that is The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. I've not read this yet, but I've heard really good things about it, and I couldn't believe that it was at Hope Gospel for like a really good price and is like in super good condition because this book just came out like a year or two ago, didn't it? I don't actually remember what year it came out in. Yeah, 2019. So it came out like two years ago and it's in like really good condition. So I'm very excited. I love The Night Circus, so I'm very excited to dive into her newest novel. So yeah, that's it. Those are all the books that I've gotten in the past few months. Comment down below. Let me know if you've read any of these books and if you have really interesting thoughts about them or want to talk about them or if there's one that you're like, you need to read this now. Uh, I'd love to chat in the comments below. So yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to follow me on social media, all my links will be in the description as always. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!